so now we'll be doing the down part so uh, let's let me show this part right here uh, I've got I think some good so you can see some okay here you can see there is it is just connected with our body from the upper part right here um, up to the back okay you can see right here as well okay so that's what we are going to be molding in this part so for that we'll start up with a cylinder okay and give it some height then maybe height segment one we'll add it later on okay and sides to about two of the deal and then just um, convert it to editable poly and perspective view let me assign our default material to it this as well then delete this too you won't be needing that and then just um, scale it down uh, or maybe we need to make uh, some adjustment with some vertex right here um, we can even hide our other objects I think we have not match it in front view so let me just first match it this and uh, this tail part in the front view okay. so that's alright we don't need to match it up too much so select this two part and then just hide selection uh, what's that okay let me hide that one as well and then just selecting this one <laughs> it's a little difficult to see so first of all let me do a few uh, extrusion uh, extrude it or maybe I'll just press the shift key and do it key again one more time W and then shift and pull it back not too much okay and then now in the front view we'll try to manage this all tax and then vertex just move this slightly apart like this Even maybe we need to scale this part a few times. You can even tweak on individual vertex if required, like in these parts. So I just start to line up with these blueprints. And this is the advantage when you have a blueprint, so you can just line up most of the things with your blueprints, and it is really easy than just imagining and just tweaking these vertices around. That would be too much time consuming. So having a blueprint is a great advantage for any 3D modeler it will be a great time saving even I think some okay straighten this out so maybe okay this one down a bit ok 
changed <sighs> lineup. Okay. Mm, I think this part is the front left view. Just push it back. All tags. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, let me just uh, unhide all and just move this one right apart. This one in its position and maybe just pull this back up to here. Okay. Um, so what we need to do next is just, uh, just pull this little down so what we did earlier in front viewpoint just we matched up so now we don't need to be it in right place so since we have got this join with this and our body so we need to move it a little down from our body uh, maybe up to around here and then just uh, maybe we need the same amount of segments as we have uh, up here and down here we need the same amount so first let me just move this a little front and then select uh, edges connect and just one for now down here, okay. We need four more. Let's connect. Then two, three, four. And we'll pinch down. Okay. We need one right here. Okay. okay. One right here. Connect. One, no pinch, no. Oh, we need to do it slide. Okay. Now, let me just select our object one more time and then just Alt Q to enter isolation mode. And then let me just delete these top polygons. Or maybe before that, let me just uh, remove this hot part and then again duplicate it so that we'll have the same equal. Pro uh, parts mm, are same design in both the sides so let me mirror it with copy okay okay now we need to just weld this vertex together weld them up oops first let us attach this one with another Again, Alt Q to enter isolation mode. Then go to vertex, top view. Select all the vertex down here, and then just uh, weld them together. Okay, I know that we can't weld these top parts with uh, very low amount. So first we'll deselect this down part which have already been welded and then we'll increase the value for the up part mm. weld mm. okay we don't have got it we didn't got any problem i think so okay that's good just apply it and cancel now let me just delete these top polygons. Delete it. Uh, exit isolation mode. Then press Z key to zoom extend. And then select our body. And then also delete the faces. So for that, let me first pull this down a bit because it's 
and then oops select the body polygon and then these polygons and be deleting them okay delete now what we are going to do is select the border edges from this one and then just extrude it down and we are going to weld it with this part so uh, let me move this up okay so it gonna be a little bit tricky since uh, we have to weld each and every vertex so it might be a little tricky but we'll do that so first in the left view let me move this up a bit and we'll try to match up this little letter first let us merge this vertex together first, um, first let me move this down a bit up to here or maybe it's too much so let me just move this is up and then select this down and move it up as well mm, uh, now let me attach this to our body and then vertex just target well all the vertex and this one with this one this with this mm. and with this one sometimes you might not see some vertex due to the body it might just mm, be some problem for us but for most of them it is pretty easy or maybe for all part okay this one down here this one down here this one down here this one down here oops sorry uh, this one down oops target world this one down here this one down here 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 and then we're done okay we have just connected that part and so next thing we'll, what we'll be doing is let me just select this and then this vertex I'll um, target well this one with this one this with this one okay this one with this one here this one with this one okay because we don't need much more line up here so we need to shrink it down like uh, oops sorry Alt W if you see in the left view it is just going down and down when it goes upward so that's what we'll, we're going to do mm. can for, uh, target well this one to this one and this one to this one since we have got these two triangles so we're just going to be Deleting this is control backspace and then this one as well control backspace so and now what we can do is go to our left view and then just alt x pull it oh sorry pull it over or maybe select this down as well and then pull it over this one pull it up so we don't need to match it up perfectly with the blueprints uh, in each and every case because uh, we can also use our own creative nature imagination we can just 
do something else as well we might get some good results as well so but uh, if you are modeling a photo realistically then you need to match it up nicely mm, let's move this one down just roughly try to match up with the blueprints and then for this part right here move it um, let me get a perspective one fusion with this one right here okay just deselect this one and then just move it up right like this this one up a bit as well okay uh, just turn off the x-ray mode let's see what we have got so we have got some really bad results back here so but that's no problem we're just in low poly so that won't be any problem for us so let me just select this uh, and then just move it aside down a bit mm, okay um now what next thing we have got is select this scale them on the x axis down a bit this one as well a little more sorry think I need to just do it a bit only and this one a little more and back here uh, some more Let's select this vertex as well okay just maybe shrink it down as well so we're not going to build it up back up to here so we'll go be building it up just about here so just let me cap the hole first by selecting all the open border cap and then go to cut and we'll try to make up squares cut Okay, that'll be done maybe. Mm. Uh, I think we need to make some adjustment here. So go to lift, uh, vertex, this one. Let me just make some space for left and perspective view or maybe this one here let's move it down this one also and this one or maybe we can just do something with this one just scale it down a bit all right okay so okay uh, so we are done with the wings we are body this top tail or and even this bottom one 
uh, what I'm going to do is just select this body and just extrude it more inward uh, one more time select it just pull it inward and scale it down and maybe leave it like that Okay. Mm, okay. Mm. Now, next thing we're going to do is let's see what we've got next. Maybe oh, this missiles will go to the missiles in few minutes. Um, so, what we've got anything else I think um, that's what we need to okay we need to build this top part so for that what are we going to do is select this two vertex and then just chamfer it okay this about 4.17 or 4.2 maybe okay and then go to polygon select this middle polygon and let me just extrude it out okay straight down just insert it a little bit maybe about 1.5 and then again extrude it this time with a little less amount okay and then just scale it down Just, mm, I'm just trying to match up with the blueprints a little more than even this one. We don't have it matched up, so we can match it up now. Let's see how it looks like. Uh, it's pretty good. Okay, let's make some adjustment uh, for this part here. Let me just select the A's ring. Still, we are not having proper ring. <coughs> so, what are we going to do is select this, sorry, this part right in here. And then just connect it with two, or maybe just one. No slides, okay. And then just extrude it out a bit mm, select this extrude it up maybe and just try to make it as good as you can and maybe uh, I think we need to shrink this part right at the front and this one as well mm. let me just pull up this vertex and back this This one ahead. If you like, you can make some adjustment around. Just have a look at our models several times and try to make some adjustments if needed. I think we need to make some right in here. Mm. Like this, so we're going to shrink it down. And with the scale tool, move it down. 
Oops, sorry. Forgot to select this right here. And then just shrink it down. Okay. Mm, this one loop. Just deselect this front part. And then just. Oops. This one as well. And then. Okay. Not shrinking down. That okay. Just uh, do it by vertex. Would be I think a lot more easier. Mm, select these three vertex right here, and even right here as well. F3 we have got this extra so just exclude it <laughs> and then just move it up mm. let's set it this for corners right here just kill them down or maybe need to add one segment right in here uh, ring connect okay and then just select this one and this one and then extrude it in and this two right in here does not look much good Okay, making like these adjustments, you can do it uh, some more, take some time, and then go ahead and try to get it much better as you can. Every time the result varies, so just try on your own. Okay, and just let me do some adjustment right in here as well. Okay, and this one, maybe this one as well. Since we have already joined these two parts, so we need to make the same thing right here as well. Or else you can just also do the half part and again weld the, the vertex together, but I think that'll be more boring than this one, so I prefer this taking vertices it will also be some practice uh, but when I actually model this first uh, I s in, uh, symmetry it several times so it took lots of time so this time I'm not doing a lot of symmetry so I'll taking vertices in both sides maybe but I won't be symmetrying it m many times okay See, it's good. Not that bad. Let's turn off the uh, wireframe. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, mm. so the next thing we'll be doing is uh, maybe the missiles. Yeah, we'll get up with the missiles. So, but first, we have got this one missile right here. So, we'll create this one back to max now let me go to front view and then just create a cylinder okay perspective add the same default material to this one and then just move it forward and then scale it down scale it up sorry Um, move it back. Let's see what we've got in the reference. So it's a lot farther from the body. 
around here or maybe here around like this um, let me just convert it to editable poly and just delete this to part uh, I'll also be needing sphere right in here so we cannot see it in front view because of that uh, so no problem Mm, <coughs> what we'll be doing is um, okay just extrude the ease from here uh, loop just shift drag it and just scale it down and again shift drag it scale it up Shift drag it, shift drag it, shift drag it down, shift drag down. Can so we could have just added the sphere right here also, or maybe you can also use this technique. Sometimes this also give us great result. Can one more time. maybe for one last time and this time we'll just scale it down pressing the shift key then just pull it back a little bit and then pressing the control key I'll go back to click on the vertex so it will select all the vertex responding to that edges and then I'll be well to get okay so um uh, what do we have back okay what we'll do next is um select this border and then just press r scale and then shift scale it down and then move it in and maybe one more time scale it down okay now we'll select these polygons right in here and then just extrude them out not too much maybe about here okay that's it and then we'll add some segments uh, over here mm, connect maybe at about four side down pinch or maybe I think six slide it down I think um, okay I think add segments okay now select these polygons right here just extrude them inward maybe up to minus 3 or maybe less than that okay but what we'll be doing is uh, select this one and this one loop and then just pull them to the front front okay so we have cut out this missile mm, you can even add some more details if you want but since I'm going to do a low poly so I won't be adding much detail and the next thing we'll do is just let me first rotate it a bit and then just create a box right there of that size um, box I need a default material. Okay. Just increase its height to about here maybe. And then just I think try to line it up. 
first convert to editable poly and then just pull it down like this maybe and this one back here scale it up Let's see what I've got here pull this one down Um, this one up. Or maybe we can just uh, extrude it from our missile uh, so that it will be more precise. So this one extrude it for just a little bit. Okay, and then just bevel it. Okay, one more time extrude. Sorry, I think we need to do a bevel, but this time with uh, plus 1.73. Sorry, 1.73 and extrusion height. A little bit, okay, and then extrude it. Okay, so it will make us look like the missile is separated from that uh, go to vertex front view let's try to line it up or maybe just you can just send them straight in column down like this Hey, looks good. Uh, or maybe we have something else right here. So I uh, select these two edges, pull it in like this, and even for this two, pull it in, and then select this one and this one, and let me just chamfer it out. Okay. And that's done. So now what's uh, let me just duplicate this one and just mirror it with a copy on x axis and offset. We can just change it by our own. Just move it and just position it on its place. Okay, that looks good. Okay. I think they are a little more far from our body, so let me just push them in. And this one as well. Since these uh, farther parts are inside, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Um, if you want to add some details, like uh, yeah, I've got it here. You can just extrude some polygons out and then add it. Uh, but I won't be including that part. We're just um, building a simple uh, fighter plane. Mm. So we are done with this one as well. So the next, uh, I think we'll start up with this big missile here. So, okay, everything all there looks good. 